So I am rating the maps from worst to my favorite. If y'all enjoy this, hit the subscribe button and let's try to get 15 likes on this video. So to start off, we have Hirschfelden. Hirschfelden is one of those maps that are, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. It's like, the worst for me is Coltro. Uh, Coltro is the absolute worst. Hirschfeld is one above that. So it's not the worst, but it's not the best. But Hirschfeld is pretty a pretty good map. Hard to find animals, yes. But fun to hunt, definitely. I'm going to try to find an animal and take it and then move on to the next map, which would be Leighton. Try to take a goose. Um, it does not look like we're going to take said goose because they are out flying me. Yeah, definitely not. Oh, I could only do that once. And this is why Hirschfelden is not a good map, but it's not the worst map. We are going to go ahead and just switch to the next map, and that is Leighton Lakes. We'll be right back. Leighton Lakes. And I feel like this is one of my favorite maps. This map is in my top five, honestly. I think this map is top five number five like number five evenly too like not even like it's even number five i love this map such a fun map as everybody knows on pc i've actually been grinding for the whitetail great one so that's why i love this map that's some one of my top fives rabbit zone Wabbit zone. At least for me, it is one of the best maps. For y'all, it might be a different score, but for me, it is my top five. Just because of all the species from whitetail to moose to elk to blacktail deer, rabbits, turkeys, ducks, bear. Just good all around species. But my favorite is whitetail. I love hunting whitetail deer. Now, let's get into Medved Taga. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Medved. Medved's a good map. It's a good moose map. Reindeer. Ooh, reindeer. I love. Ooh, look at that, that one. Ma not massive, but he's decent. We're actually going to get that one. But Medved, I think, is right there above Hirschfelden for me. Medved Target is, like, on that border of Hirschfelden. It's like, Hirschfelden's here. Medved is one above that. So, But Medved's still a good map. It's not the worst map for me. Like, Kultra. Kultra is literally the worst map for Call of the Wild. At least for me. For you, your worst map could be Hirschfelden, but this is my list of what maps that I like the most and the least. So, Hirschfelden and Medved are right there next to each other, but Hirschfelden is a little bit worse than Medved. Leighton is in my top five of maps. Y'all are actually going to be surprised with my number one for maps are. It's probably going to surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be surprised by it. Nice shot, too. I harvested an animal on Medvedaga. Wish I had the binoculars with the rangefinder. Or the, the... Whatever the... Like, it tells you the distance. Dude, that's a wide... That's a wide I will admit, I'm reindeer. A Even with all 
the trouble he's making for you and me. Nobody deserves to kind of want to look, finish looking at this pond anyway, before we go to the next map, which I think the next map the is right. Savannah. I think that next map is Savannah. Here we go. We're in a we're in a good map now. Savannah. I think for me Savannah is my number 4. So late cuz Savannah this is the only map with warthogs, lions, Cape Buffalo. The only map. I love hunting the warthogs. The warthogs are one of my favorite animals to hunt. I just recently got a diamond pig on you Medved on you Medved. So I would be happy with a diamond warthog one day, if possible. But this is my top four map just because of the species that are all around from big animals to small animals. Some of the biggest, scariest animals to hunt in the game, honestly. Like the lions. They will go aggressive on you. But they're beautiful, beautiful creatures. Something fun to hunt. I wish there was another map with lions. Be pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to see if we can get one. Not at this point, at least. Got two lions up here. Two nice looking lions at that. One's a six and one's a seven. But I forgot. Lions are actually one of those animals that are level nine. And I don't have a level nine gun, but the uh, 308. We gotta catch some breath before we take the shot, though, on this this line. I think this is the bigger one. Yeah, this is the bigger one. He may or may not go down. Yeah, he's definitely going down there, though. But Savannah, Rohingya Savannah, my top four favorite map, just because of the species and it's really good. But remember, everybody, these are my maps, so they might differ between everybody. So for you, it might be, you might not, your Savannah, your, or Savannah might be one of the lowest for you. But for me, Savannah is one of my favorites. My top four, actually, of favorites. And I just absolutely unloaded into this line, just to put it down. Just because I was out of breath and could not get a decent shot into him. I have every map on PS5, but New England. So... Or not New England, but... Uh... uh Emerald Coast. So, I'm going to talk about Emerald Coast, but just on a different map. Since I don't have Emerald Coast on here, but I have it on PC. And we'll, I'll tell y'all what that tier is when we get to there. But let's go to the next map. I think it, the next map is Culture, though. The next one was Fernando. I got that way wrong. Fernando, I think, is my number six map. Because, and this is the only reason Fernando is up there. Nope. Change that. Fernando is my number three. Fernando is my number three, Matt. Because, solely because of Axis Deer. Axis Deer is one of my all-time favorite animals to hunt i love hunting axis deer and that right there is the reason it is number three which for like if fernando didn't have axis deer it probably wouldn't be that high but since they got the axis deer it's up there 
But also they got mule deer, water buffalo, ducks, axis deer. I think blacks buck, uh, pumas, and all those type of animals. We got a mule deer call out here though. And she won't quit talking while I'm trying to talk. Where was those mule deer at? That, that, or did they already flee? They probably definitely already fleed. Fernando, but uh, Fernando's my number three. And we got a red deer. Are you serious? Uh, I think that was a hit, though. I think that was a pretty good hit. That should bring that red deer down. He was not a... No, he might not bring him down. I thought that was a better hit than it was. It definitely was not. What's this out here? Ooh, this is level 7. And this one ain't down yet. So we might take this level 7. Okay, let's zero for 320. He's about 300. He's caddy corner. And he is hit. Oh, he's definitely going down. It's a nice level 7 red deer, too. De yeah, he's down already. Let's go. Is Cultra next? Cultra might be next. I'm going to pick this guy up and move on to the next map. Really nice gold red deer. Barely hit it, too. Barely hit him. But we're going straight on to the next map, which it should be Cultra now. And we can get talk about culture when it loads. It is not culture. I do not know the map of the rotation. I'm just going in order. Yukon is my number six map. Just because of wolves. There ain't really many maps with wolves. There's pl uh, Plains Bison. Oh, here they are right here. There's plenty of maps with these guys. Come on, please don't run. Please don't run. Please don't run. Plenty of mats with these guys. Yeah, he's going down. But yeah, this is my number six. because Just because of wolves, caribou, the bison, moose also, foxes. But the big reason it is number six because of the moose or not the moose the wolves there really ain't that many maps with wolves this map and culture and culture is my least favorite map to play on i i just not a fan of that map we did hit vitals though Where is more blood, though? Okay, we got blood here. Blood here. Uh, blood here. Yep. And he's running off in this direction. Hate how... These two guns can bring down level 9 animals, but they're not level 9 weapons. Like, they're super strong. And that was busting through his shoulder... And getting decent and long too. Like wow, that's insane. But they're not no, level nine. I think they top out at level eight. I think. Not one hundred percent sure. This is how bad I hate culture. I haven't even loaded in the map yet. I I have. Might have been on multiplayer though. Might. Uh, why can't I move? Might have loaded it on multiplayer. That's why. But other than that, I do not play this map at all. Literally just got done listening to her talk. She's been talking for the last, like, five minutes. Oh, man. Okay, now we can talk about well, what tier this is. For me, this map is the bottom of the bottom. The worst map that they have made. At least for me. I don't know why. I just don't like this map. 
Not many species. Yeah, it has wolves, but the goat species they have, the ibexes, they don't really excite me, incite me like that, like white tail or fallow deer and all those other species, axis deer. These are just like, eh, they're cool to hunt, but not really, for, at least for me. Y'all might love hunting them, but me personally, I do not. But that's why this map is at the bottom under Hurstfeld. And this is literally the worst map. Every other map is up from here. Up from here. I mean, there's, there's red deer. I mean, that's cool, but red deer are not really that good either. Red deer do not excite me. I just don't like the look. I want to get the red deer great one one day. But red deer are not like... Mm, I like the look of that rack. When I really don't. I hate the look of that rack. I mean like the level 8s and low... Or the level 7 racks look good. But 8 and up. They just... It's just a bunch of clumbled mess with... Like the ball and the spikes and all that. And that's just not, not for me, honestly. Not, uh, but y'all might, if y'all like it, that's great. But that's just not for me. We're going to go ahead and go to the next map because I don't want to be on this map any longer than I have to be. Because I don't know why. It's just, I don't like this map at all. We're on Silverish Peaks. Honestly, right under Fernando. This map, eh, the mountains is the best thing this map has. I mean, the bighorn sheep are pretty cool. The mountain goats are pretty cool. But, they just don't excite me. Just like the ibexes. But this one, just because it's, oh, Rocky Mountain Elk. That, I like Rocky hunting right, Rocky Mountain Elk. But, this is right under Fernando for me. I think the Rocky Mountain Elk save this map from being lower than what it is that's just me though let's i think it's rocky mountain elk drink time too yeah like for 10 more minutes maybe we can get up here and at least see one to get a shot into i mean we don't even have to find a rocky mountain elk there's a big horn sheep if we can hit it on the run which that run was i kid you not the slowest run I have ever seen. But then this bear. This bear is full on whatever I hit dropped him in this place. I think I hit heart by accident. I think I hit heart by accident. Wow. Claim these two things up and we can go to the next map. Double long heart on the run. What? I'm actually excited. I've been hearing how bear are getting their time zones changed. So I might actually do a bear grind when I get my PC back up and running. After I get the white tail and the moose. I'm also ready for the new weapons. And a really nice goat. Double heart. Double long heart shot also. Anyway, let's get into the next map now. Let's go. I'm, I'm getting excited. Now we're on Tierra Wara. I think I have to move Silver Reach Peaks down one and put Tierra Wara in between Fernando and Silver Ridge because of. I just love that fallow deer hunting. As everybody knows, I have two fallow deer great ones on my PC. And those are my only two actual great ones that I have. I'm working on moose and whitetail. But I'm, I moved Silver Ridge down. And this is going in between Silver Ridge and Fernando. Just because of the fallow deer. I have tons of diamond fallow deer. I have two great one fallow deer. A lot of rares. Just from those two grinds. That was amazing. And they, they were fun. I loved it. I love this map. Not in my top five, but it's there. It's close. It's top seven. Silver Ridge is top eight. Top six is Fernando. Let's go. I'm happy with that. Let's go. I'm trying to look for a, a fallow deer right now, though. We actually have a herd. Ooh. You thought you were going to run. 
No, you don't get to run. Because you're one of my favorite animals to hunt. Ooh. Comment if y'all would like me to try to give a tier list on my favorite animals to hunt. Like my top five to ten favorite animals. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if y'all would like to see my top five to ten favorite animals in the game. Because I could do a video on that easily. Now let's get into the next map. Rancho. I think Rancho is one of those maps that is it's good but it's not great at least number 10 I, I like Rancho but it's just very very bushy it's hard to see anything because of all the bushes you have to get like in that perfect area just to see of course you floated of course they floated but you have to get in that perfect area just to see it so I'm gonna say Rancho is number 10 that's a good score for Rancho but I just he Rancho used to be my favorite map but it's not it's got good all around animals also but it's also got an animal that most maps don't have which is the Bobcat the Bobcat is fun to hunt, but hard because of how bushy Rancho is. Oh, a map I absolutely love. This is my number one favorite map. Mississippi Acres. I love Mississippi. It's got whitetail that I love hunting. It's got alligators that I love hunting. Bear, eh. Ducks. Raccoons. It's a mount map about the south or close to the south and since i'm from the south i this makes it my favorite map because i love hunting white tail i love hunting alligators as the speak we got an alligator right up here somewhere let's try to take him down but that's why my this is my favorite map just because of the alligators and the white tail if it didn't have those, it probably would not be my favorite map. But since it has those two things right there, it is a, my favorite map. Oh yeah, he's definitely not going down. But he's definitely not making it to the water. Yeah, that shot. That shot's going to bring him down good. It's going to take a minute, but he is coming down. But that's why Mississippi Acres is my number one favorite all-time map. That will probably stay my favorite forever just because of the alligators and the whitetail, the two species I absolutely love hunting and hunt a lot of. I hunt so many animals on this map. Is the alligator down? Yep, there he is. But I say, is he down? He is down, but he's floating. Oh, please don't tell me he's stuck in a tree. Are you kidding me? Am I able to get to him? I'm not able to get to him. And he's stuck in the tree. He might come unstuck though. We're going to have to wait and see. Gully Coast. Which is... It has white tail, yes. But honestly, this map is for people who love bird hunting. Because it's got all types of different bird species. If you love bird hunting, this is the map for you. I need to do more bird hunting. To see if I love it. But it has white tail. So I'm going to say it's about top nine my top nine Matt I don't know it's just the ducks or the bird species doesn't really whelm me y'all y'all might love hunting the duck species I just don't I don't like hunting small game I mean I'll hunt a turkey here and there 
But that about uh, be it. I love big game. Anything big game. We have some white tail. Yay! About time we found something. Ooh, diamond potential white tail. Probably not diamond, but that would be awesome. Imagine me getting my first super rare on here and not even getting it on my PC. Where do I, I gotta go? I gotta go this way because the other way is so much longer. Yep, I definitely gotta go this way. Imagine me getting a super rare on PS5. I'd be so happy but also so upset because I really want my first super rare on PC. But can't do nothing about it. Oh, I didn't talk about the reason my mic sounds better because I figured out how to set my mic up like my good mic up to my PS5 with also having my good headset set up so I can actually talk y'all can hear me good and I can have my good headset on so I'm glad I figured that out and I'm glad the audio is so much better than what it was but a lot of y'all on the last video commented and saying it wasn't that bad which I'm glad it wasn't that bad for y'all but for me, it just, it sounded awful, at least for me. But we got the audio up and running. We're making our way slowly to this white tail while there's all these other white tail past us. Big gold. I'll take a big gold. I'll take a big gold. I think we got New England and... New England and Emerald Coast are the two last maps to check out. So we're going to flip to New England, talk about that. England used to be my number one favorite map, but then I played it and it's, it's just huge. And so now New England is my top nine map, but it's still a good map. I, I love New England just solely for the white-tailed deer. That's the only reason I absolutely love this map. Just because of the white tail deer saved this map for me. But, you know, this is my top 8 or 9. I don't remember where I put Revitulli at. My top 8 or 9 map. We're probably going to have to stay on this map for Emerald Coast because I don't have Emerald Coast on PS5 so I'm just gonna talk about it on here and let you let y'all know but right now we're still in New England we gotta get our animal for New England we're gonna make our way to this pond and try to fold one up it's probably gonna be a white tail because it's the white tail drink time with I feel like this map another monster white tail wow that's a no. Uh, two big white tail of the day. The other one was like. Like a centimeter. It's like 241. This one. Or. Two, like 30 to 271. This one's three more points better than that. So, with it being three more points better, that means this one should be a 245. At least a 245. Which I'll be happy with it. And then claim that. And then we'll talk about Emerald Coast. And then y'all know what Emerald Coast is ranked, ranked for me.